machine learning can be used to, um, to learn or to predict. And one thing that they, they can actually predict is user behavior. And while there are not so many data right now to, 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 to predict an entire user behavior, I would expect that in the, in the near future, uh, there will be sufficient data for uh, machine learning to learn how to differ, dif differentiate two people based on their behavior. And when I mean behavior, I don't mean necessarily security. It could be anything, like uh, the moment you enter the door, the moment you, eat, you ate something, or um, everything related to, for example, when you, um, when you start an application, what kind of uh, web pages you're uh, watching, what kind of information you're interested in. And everything can be used to, to build a profile. Uh, and that profile can be used to identify you. The machine learning in this, in terms of security, at, at this point will be used to, to predict anomalies based on your profile. So if something happens that it's not normally, or that, that's not something that normally that user is going to do. I would also said, say that um, it's likely that at that point, um, some users will prefer to have this profile stored locally rather than in cloud for privacy issues. Actually, machine learning, machine learning algorithms can reach 100% uh, detection accuracy. But the problem is uh, they will not reach zero false positive uh, at the same time. So basically you have to, um, to work with these two hard limits. And even if at some point you're going to obtain 100% uh, uh, accuracy and uh, zero false positive, that's based on the test set that can change and it's pretty much impossible to, to make sure that you will, you will have the same detection rate with the same algorithm for a long period of time.